Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. We are here. I guess this is our our little garage, somewhere where we hide away in between jobbies. Um, we are still in the minivan. If you take a look up over there, you can see we are now up to forty-seven thousand forty-seven five one four to be precise. I went out. I've done. I did two, only two jobs to make that money. I think two, maybe three. I might lie. Two, three, two. Did two jobs, two long deliveries. Um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to do one more job in the minivan, and then we're going to buy ourselves a new vehicle. So let's get out there. Let's find ourselves a jobby. Boom! Little, little bouncy bounce. Right. So let's start ourselves up. We have. By the looks of it on our mini map, I'll probably have to move myself out of the way. But you can see there we've got a pickup over there. And there is a a vehicle type pickup over there, but I don't think we can do that with um our our vehicle at the moment. What were the lights again? Does anyone remember? <laughs> there we go, so we've got blue dash on. There we are. So we are going to head over and try and get a job. From over there. Can we get out over there? I think we can. I think we have to get out. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We must be able to get out somewhere. We're in here. There must be a way out. Oh, there's a. I see it. There's a gate over there. So I hope you're well. Thank you for coming back and joining us again. Um, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the uh, the first couple of these. Because I'd like to, I'd like to try and run the series at least until we own each of the vehicles or each of the main vehicles. And I'm not too sure about the monster truck. We'll save that for last. We'll try and get out of here. We'll try and have less incidents as well today if we can. Especially if we get a new truck. We don't want no, uh, no damages on our new truck. Although this is still pretty new. It's done about five, six jobs. So what can we do? Uh, have they got something we haven't run yet? I don't think they have. So let's go with six. That's nearly seven grand. All about them. That's eight. That's quite a good run. It's going to take us down there as well. I'm not sure how the vehicle change thing really works. I can't remember if when I watched Ellipse, if if it just changed you where you were, or if you went somewhere else i don't know i can't remember um shall we go with that that's although that's paying out more and it's going roughly the same sort of way is that paying out? it's paying out a little bit no it's not that it's paying out more oh, am i being so silly for that's paying out the most and i saw somewhere good yes we'll take that it's nearly 10 grand it is once again another a warm evening as well so I'll try not to bang on about it, but it's it's hot. It's hot. It is a new day. This isn't the same day as the last two. I just always wear black. Sorry about a loss of continuity there. We had a little issue with the recording, but I'm hoping it's all right now. Let's just keep an eye on that. It decided to uh, to die on me, which isn't isn't good, is it? It's not a good start. So we came in from. The way we came in from. Come from this way? Let's see if we can get out. Let's see if we can find a way out. Let's get me uh, ears peeled now for that little blue. For the uh, OBS has failed. Oh, yes, because we got picked up the job from around the front. It's, it's a sort of teleport us to the back. That's what that'll be. I feel like I'm sitting lower today. I don't know why. That's like someone's being infected with my chair. So this is quite a trip. Again, I am thoroughly enjoying what we're doing. Um, like I say, it's a simple simulator. It's a simple simulator. But it's just, oh, look at this. We've got a little instant going on here. Let's just slow down a little bit, shall we? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a proper instant. <laughs> it's not a little instant wasn't me, I swear. That's not where I came in. That's not the way I came in. 
but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, the um, the lack of sort of gameplay depth maybe doesn't feel like an issue because all I want to do is get on, deliver, and make money. I need to try and find a light that I can see. But yeah, I just want to get on, make money, and um, get them trucks. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I say, and by the looks of it, we can actually progress pretty quick in, in getting the trucks to try the different delivery. I am definitely sitting low. Well, I am really having to lift my head up to look at the camera. So yeah, hopefully we can see some different things. <clears throat> like I say, I know a few of the, uh, the delivery types. I've seen a few of them, so it'd be interesting too. Sorry about that, I had to take on some fluids and try and clear my throat. But yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can rack them up pretty quick. Oh there's a there's a crate. How do we get up there? How on earth do we get up there? There's a crate. I saw it. Everyone remember where it was please. <laughs> but yeah, like I say it was, it was two jobs of this sort of length that I did early on this morning when our youngest was having a nap and the eldest was uh, entertaining himself, playing up, hopped on, did do two quick jobs and uh, ready to go for this evening. Like I say, I'm probably going to record these quite close together and then release them over a period of time so I can get my quick fix and then get back to farming. But if we can essentially get a new vehicle every sort of two or three episodes, I think I'll be quite happy with that. I say every now and then, I try and get a job in in between, like we did with the last one. I stuck a job in just in between the recordings just to help progress the finances. But we'll be able to see what we can get. I'm not quite sure what vehicle I was thinking. Uh, panel van, you know, the transit van, the tranny van. But also, I've quite. We can afford one. I wouldn't mind getting a rigid box tr um, truck. Something like that. That would be pretty cool. That was what. Back on the dreaded on the road truck simulator. That was what we were running on that. Now. I'd say the, the only thing that On The Road had going for it was the multi-drop aspect of deliveries. That was really good. It's a shame that no one else has come along with a better trucking game and implemented the multi-drop. Like, you had to go... If, if you haven't played it, don't go off and play it. I have got a couple of little videos on the channel. I think they're still live. I have faulted a lot of content recently. But I think they're still there because because the game is so bad, so few people put content out on it. So those of us that have a little bit of content, as bad as it might be, still get views because it's all there is for people that are searching for it. But yeah, on there, like you you can plan your route for pickups. So you go out and you pick up from, say, a, a warehouse at one point, knowing that you've got to deliver to. X and Y. And then within that town, or that city, because it's in, in Germany, um, you can then go to another maybe city along your route and you can pick up, as long as you've got room in, in your trailer, you can then pick up some more goods. But then in loading up those goods, like at the back of the trailer, or, or at the front of the trailer as it were for unloading, you then have to go and drop those deliveries off first before you can drop off what's at the back of your, of your trailer. And managing that, that was that was the only good thing about that game. Everything else about it just didn't work. It's a shame someone else hasn't created a good trucking game and implemented that. 
that I'd, I'd love to see that come to e, you know ETS or ATS to be able to pick up set weight cargo and then pick up another set weight cargo if you have your own trailer so if you've got your own refrigerator trailer you could go pick up you know raw meat somewhere else or raw meat at one place and then go pick up some you know other frozen goods elsewhere and then drop them off along the similar route if you're on trucks book and you have a VTC you can try and simulate that a little bit by doing small pickups at, like back and forth or along the route so you know if you're picking up at um, if you're picking up at um, like Euro whatever I forget the names this is what I talk about I forget about the names but you pick up pick up at like Transstar uh, logistics you pick something else up there and then you drop that off at say um, Aldi or Tesco and then you pick up the packaging from Aldi or Tesco and then you go and drop that off at, at another warehouse and then from that warehouse you pick up something else and you, you can obviously do that but having it so you have to manage it in an order would be pretty cool so even if you pick up um, say uh, you know a couple of hundred I don't know what the weight is on these things but yeah a couple of hundred units say of a product and you have in your box trailer you have it in your curtain slider maybe and then you have to go and drop off to uh, Tesco's in uh, Swansea and oh I've gone too quick drop off at Tesco's in Swansea and Tesco's in Cardiff so you've you've got this one load but you've got to drop it off to the two points and you have to do it in a certain time frame and so it's up to you to make sure you go to the right one first and that would be pretty cool I like that you know I've worked for companies and helped to do unloads of deliveries and those guys are on the clock and they want to get it all out on time and on to the next one so they can get paid and get home Sometimes you know the the wrong thing. Well, these guys are doing what I do. They're sitting in the middle of the road. Are they waiting for anything in particular. Are they waiting to turn left? I'll let them on. Yeah, sometimes the wrong the wrong goods get dropped off, so they they come to the wrong place. Especially, I spent a couple of years working in the pub, and like it was you know part of the franchise. And sometimes they come and drop off to us before they went to another of the franchise pubs in the city. And they drop off the wrong stuff, and we get a shed load of goods we didn't necessarily need or order. And then you'd have to arrange that to be collected up. But yeah, I mean, more that. But I'd love that level of realism, the random roll of it. But yeah, but just to have to go there and make sure you drop off 52 cans here so that you've got 48 cans to drop off somewhere else, that would be cool. So I'd love to see a little game like this be able to implement that, that'd be awesome. But then you'd need place names and you know company names and stuff like that. They could make it up. They could make it up. We don't have a way of knowing how how far we've still got to go either. Obviously, we can. Coming here, we can look at our map and we can see we're close, but we've got nothing that tells us you are. Oh, have we? Does it say on the um, I think it might actually 0.4 kilometers, so yeah, it does. It's just really tiny on the uh, on the sat nav, so I do apologize for that. It is there, it also tells us the time and the temperature. Didn't realize it had the distance on there, although it still says 0.4. We'll see if that changes as, as I arrive. And again, that's why that'd be nice if I could get my zoom button. Zoom is on controller. I can't map it to the mouse, keyboard, or side panel for some reason. These lights are being naughty, aren't they? I wonder if that's hinting at the possibility of a golden crate somewhere. See what that is? Is that being cheeky? Is that a cheeky hint? How would you get that one that was on the fl the flyover? How would you get to that? How would you get to that? 
what you do. Don't give way to you. Uh oh. What's going on? I think it got stuck. He's going to hit me. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Well, the distance is gone, so perhaps it does count now. I wonder if all vehicles have the reverse camera as well on the uh, sat nav display. Eyes peeled for Golden Crate. Can't believe we saw one and couldn't get to it. Is it? Even a vehicle small enough in the game to be able to get up there. That's it. See, it's not facing the direction that it would want, but it still gives us the the tick and the hundred credits and XP. The XP that I don't know is for. But that is it. That is our first job in the bag. So let's go to garage. And I was thinking, uh, like I said, I was thinking panel van. 21, 23. So it tells us um, maximum towing capacity, maximum load capacity, our fuel, fuel consumption, power, power. And that's, they're much the same. So what's different? Our oh, power is a little bit different. But what a drop side. Like, what can we get with this? What else can we get? What's that? What is that? Panel van. Oh no, he's doing all the rigid truck, is what he said. Right? So, yeah, we could even get an extra. So, we do a double tow on it. But we've got to have to pack this ourselves. And we could get quite look, load capacity, 7,000. So, we could get quite a few crates in here. And we're going to have to pack that ourselves. So, I think. Can I afford it? I thought you said I can. Um, oh, the dump. Oh, it's too much. Too much for the dump. The man. Is 48. 46. So we'll get a Scania. We never buy Scania. Let's get a Scania. So we shall purchase that. And now we can customize it. And we shall give it the fancy annoying lights that everyone gets blinded by. Tint our windows a little bit because we are gangster. Our lights will be a little bit blue. Hopefully, like they were before, although that doesn't look to have changed the colour. Our interior. What should we go with? A little bit of blue in there as well. Why not? Oh, a little bit too much blue, that. Or darker. Oh, I like that. A little bit darker. A bit like that. Yes, yes. And then the van itself is also going to be it's more purple than blue there, isn't it? Darker blue. Blue is our brand colour. That's what we're going with. So then we come back and that is done. And we're ready to drive. That's, this is our new van. It's our new truck. We've got, we've got a truck already. We are up to truck. Caught me having a little uh, a little drink on the load screen. Right. So we bounced in again. That looks cool. Look at us. Oh, me head in there. Look. We are loving it. Look at that. It's quality. It actually doesn't look a bad model. You know, it's it's not ETS. It's not ETS. We've been over that. But, I'll tell you what, that's not bad. For a simulator that's mainly marketed for console that is not bad so shall we see what we can get in if we in cab we'll have a little look around oh we're nearly out of fuel we need to go get fuel cabin's all right i don't think we get to accessorize or anything which is a shame that could come in as a pack that'd be nice one a little bit accessorizing if i put my head well, that is head to zero. That's nice. So that's that is where we uh, move you from. I put the lights on. 
See, that's why. That's not. Oh, some of it's gone a little bit blue. I can see. I see. Right. So we need to go and get fuel, and then we'll go and get ourselves a chill. Wow. It's that way. Got ourselves a van, man. Oh, it's bouncy. It's bouncy. This feels super wide as well. This feels super <laughs> wide. Um, no, I don't want to go that way. Let's go. Perhaps it's because my head's in hot and straight. Perhaps it's because I'm sitting in a funny spot. Is that put my head? Yeah, it's put my head right. Okay, I'm just getting it perfect when I, <laughs> when I reset it anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to be driving this pretty slow just because I feel super wide. But at least we can see the light. Oh, we're got loads of room. I mean, I know I could probably look over and see I've got a fair bit of room. But... Yeah, we can see our lights now. This is better. This is better. Much better. I like it. King of the road. That was actually an achievement that popped up. King of the road. Drive a truck. This could be my favourite vehicle. We'll see if it feels like on the road. Now that we're in a box truck. Well, what was the other vehicle I had on on the road? On the road it was um, an animal trailer. That's what it was. A live animal transporter. That was awful. Not awful, but like loaded up the animals. It was so noisy. You had to hit the trigger to load and that was another thing in that you had to get out and open the doors yourself and, and trigger things and um, a little bit like um, Alaskan road truckers you, know, you had to get out and find the uh, the site manager and do things so yeah there, like I said there were some little bits that were nice but 99.9% of that game was just pure jank <laughs> jank and junk can't see me light oh we're on green now, let's go in and out the right way this time, and not cause ourselves problems. You're going to have to wait, mate, because I cut across. Right, engine off. So it's 175 again. This one's going to be a little bit more pricey. Seven hundred and thirty-seven. But although, like we filled up the tank on the minivan, we've—I didn't have to fill it up again. We've done a fair few kilometres on that without having to fill anything up. But we've been to multiple towns, pretty much. So I'm going to go to try and get the green and blue ring. Just to see if we can get anything um, from the blues with this as well. I don't think we will. I think it will just be all um, looming pallets. But we'll see. Shame I couldn't get that to map somewhere on the on the wheel. Keep reaching for I might have to look into that on an in-between sesh. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We want to get over to there. Let's find the entrance. So it's still not perfect, is it? You really need a light opposite. Not both sides. There's the entrance. Here it go. Oh. Over around. Are we suddenly going to see a lot of um, static box trailers? Is that what we're now going to get? Sorry mate, but I want to go in here. So you're just going to have to wait. This was hard enough to find. Oh, 
awesomeness. So, oh, I can give us. Oh, we're not ready for a double yet. We'll just we'll do the single. Um, but we'll do. Oh, the payout. Oh, that payout's pretty good. Twelve grand. It's quite a trip as well. Two big trips. Why not? All about the money. Oh, we're inside. We're inside. Oh, mate. That's cool. Okay. That is cool. Well, it looks like just the two... Just the two pallets. Oh, this is pretty sweet. If you only watched the first two and didn't come back for the third and you're missing out on this. Oh. Shame on you. I say shame on you. This is this is cool. My driving in, but this is. That should have just kept it down where it was. On the other little one, we had to uh, lift it up a little bit, if not, kept clipping. Got to be careful not to uh, drive off the back. So watch where you go, mate. Oh, there's three. There's three. Three bricks. Each one's a little bit different as well. It's cool. I like that we can see what the cargo is. Do we have to get it all the way in? I guess you don't have to, but you know what? Let's. Let's get it all in. That's cool. I like this. Be mindful that there's a step behind us. Myself a little bit more central on it, so I've got to get it in the back of the van. Yeah, this is this is this is cool. Warehouse simulator. I could play that. I'd happily just be you know forklift driver. Let's do that. I'm sure there is one. There's got to be. I know this forklift <laughs> racing. I've seen that. Self into place as we come out. Last one to go in. No mad rush. Sure it's down. I think I found my dream job. Oh, this one's heavy. I could feel it. I could feel the weight in it. I wasn't expecting that. wonder if you could stack them on top of each other. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, let's turn. Right. I am. I'm in the truck. Let's go. Got our load. Start the engine. Oh, we've got a sat nav down there. It's a shame because it's quite, it's a bit small, isn't it? Shall I? If we go to our options. Um, seat. Should we move the seat further forward a little bit? Should we try that? I mean, it's not make a big difference. I feel that's a little bit better. I have to I have to move my head now to see out the mirror. <laughs> but that is uh, nine point four kilometers. I can see that. Right, way out. I don't even remember how we got in. This has sort of turned us around a bit, hasn't it? Hasn't it? There is not a way out there. That's the way out. 
Ah, over there. Let's go around this post. Watch out, big boy's about. Man be trucking. See his buddy? <laughs> that was a weird one. Go on, mate. Let's go. So we want to take it right here. Get on that open road. So I do like this. I like this. I don't know if there's an in-game radio. If there was, it'd have news. It'd be probably gone. Have, but that's all you ever missing. On farm sim, when I play for myself or when I know I'm doing something that's not going to be in the episode, I do turn the uh, in-game radio on, and then you can cycle through to you know truck sim radio, truck radio, and stuff like that. So get real music. Groove, let's make a move. The eyes peeled for those uh, golden crates as well. So we can take a, a diver if we see one. I don't think there's anyone there, mate. We'd have to stop for the pedestrians. There's no pedestrians. have to give way for dangerous traffic that doesn't give way for us. Now I don't know how off-road you can get. Maybe that's something we'll try one day. We'll get a get a 4x4. Get one of the pickups. See if we can do a delivery across country. That would be pretty cool. Because if they can take a pallet on the bank and then do a delivery across country. Because you can drive up on the terrain, or on bits of it anyway. Because I have. Now, the gears seem to be working a bit better this time. They're not so uh, whiny when in the lower gears, which is good. No one wants a whiny gearbox. Eyes peeled for golden crates, remember. If you see one, give us a shout. They, they, they don't give you right away if you're on the... on the correct side of the road either, the traffic. Again, we can feel, we can feel the way again. We are still recording our video. Do you, want, do you want that golden moment of loading this up to something you lost? I don't know what happened at the start of the board, it just was not having any of it. We went six attempts to uh, get it to get going again. But now that we can pull cargoes of this sort of weight and more, because we can do the double as well, that should mean we are. Uh, so you're going to crank up the money if we can do it over a distance. Uh, this is pretty much crossing from one side of the map to the other on this journey. Let's have a little look at how the cab seems like. Like I say, I don't think, visually, it's all that bad. It really isn't. I mean, it's, I believe it's on sale quite frequently, and it's not expensive to start with. You know, this is a, I don't know who's that, 25, 30 pound game, if that maybe. I think I picked up for like 16 pounds in the, uh, I think it's probably in this, this um, what they call it, like the simulation sale, where it was it, the other month. He goes to pick up on CD keys, I think, for about 16, 17 pounds all the time. See, so yeah, although this is 130, 60, 70 kilometers doesn't feel wrong on this road. 
like what are we doing now? This is this is a hundred. This is this does not feel like safe for certain. I should have indicated there, but I was more worried about keeping my vehicle upright. There are incidents. You can, you can um, you know, roll the truck and get stuck. I did share some, uh, some screenshots of Discord when I was first trying this game a few weeks back, uh, where I got a transit van stuck on a bridge. It, it sort of slipped off, and the wheels had gone down the side, like down there, like there's a, a side gutter and a runoff for rain. Uh, but <laughs> my right hand wheels, both of them, had gone down there, and then we'd. Uh, grounded ourselves on the bumpers on the bumper doors like that on the front and rear bumpers and yeah the truck just would not move so you have to do a recovery but oh dear. I didn't do a recovery I, I took the screenshots and came out and then that was when I decided yes we're gonna do we're gonna do some content on this that was that was completely messed up that was fun we reckon that is that just the lavender growing over there do you think are they is that a lavender farm Looks like it could be. Got sunflowers over on the left. We love a bit of farming. Plenty of bales. Bales bigger than the harvester. That's insane. Who knows? There might be um, golden crates of this. See, this feels alright to get a bit of speed on. Solar farm. Not sure what that was, but this. We just need to slow down for this turn, that's for certain. The Serentist. But yeah, the, the Scania feels not it. It feels like a truck. It handles so much better than the on the road trucks. They did not handle it at all. They were awful. Whereas I can put my foot down in this and I can have some fun with it. I'm not worried that I'm constantly wavering around and drifting. Although maybe I drift, but I'm purposefully sitting in the middle of the road to stop faster traffic. Oh shit, the bed. <laughs> 120 in a 90. Ah, $100 fine on that. Oh, so we can go quicker. The truck is only permitted a 90. Oh, so we've got to adhere to our own truck speeds, like we would, like in any ATS and ETS, we truck them around if you're useless like me. So we mustn't go no more than 90 anyway, because of the size and weight of our cargo. I, I like that, that's a good feature. Wish I knew about it, but I'll find 100 credits for it, but I guess there's a way to find out, isn't it? Stung from the teeth. Unfortunately, I can't see which one of those are the. Oh, okay, yeah, the one on the right. I was trying to see which of those dials was the uh, fuel. It's the one on the right. But yeah, I, I drive in the middle of the road just because the. The AI traffic is a little bit janky and it stops the faster cars coming up beside me. Because uh, sometimes if you're behind them, they register you, and sometimes if you're beside them, they register you, and then they go a little bit weird and they'll stop or they'll weave or something. So if I sit in the middle of the road, they have to stay behind. That's why I sit me driving in the middle of the road on a dual carriage. This, I did say in previous episodes that they all look the same. This city looks a little bit different. This one looks a little bit more modern, a little bit more built up at this end, anyway. I'll have to try and take a little bit more newest. See if they do look different. We've got another incident up ahead. Is this the same one? Is this the same? I can't get around. I'm going to have to go around, I think. Got to risk oncoming traffic. wonder if we can skip through. Probably. Ooh. Golden pallets. Let's 
Is there a road under here? Is there a tunnel under the, under the city? Where the lizard people live? Hopefully I can then turn right. Yeah, turn right after the bottom of this left. I'm not sure what they're waiting for. They're waiting for me to arrive so they can slow me down. Any pallets in your back? Oh, we've got back up there. Right, so we know where we're going. Similar incident, is that the same one? We drove past this might be the exact same sea. It could be. We went down and we come back up again, so I believe it is. See if that gave us a revert. Oh, it does. Shame I can't steer in reverse. And I can see it in my mirror better now. Nice. Now we get 400 for that on the uh, on the bonus. Mouse had gone to sleep. Um, so yeah, 1200 or 12,136. Brilliant. That's not bad at all. I must say, I am impressed. I'm impressed. I like that. I like that wee little jobby. That was pretty good. Yeah, I <laughs> enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. This is this honestly is as basic and bare bones as this might look to some some of you guys who are into your simulators and your drop truck driving and and things like that. This is fun. This is fun and accessible. You can jump on it. You can grab it. <laughs> Grab your wheel, grab your controller, do a couple of jobbies, 30 minutes, turn out with your four jobs. And you've probably got enough in four jobs to buy yourself your next vehicle. Like, that's, that's how accessible this is. And I like that. I like that it's got that accessibility. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. Next time out, we'll uh, we'll take the box truck out. We'll try and get two or three jobs in if we can. Um, possibly try the, uh, the double box. See if we can earn some more money doing that. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.